My name is Olivia and I'm in 10th grade at Central. And outside of hydroponics, I do other things and I do try to plant, but it <laughs> never goes right. Um, I heard about this program through my friend, Denisha. Um, she posted about it and I was interested in having something else to do because I couldn't do karate and I usually do karate, but I couldn't do that because of COVID. Um, my first impression was that we we're gonna do like some crazy stuff in like a lab or something. And I had looked up what hydroponics was and I was really nervous because I thought we were gonna be like doing like some math stuff with it. And then it was like, I asked my sister about it because she does things with nutrition and plants and all of that. And we talked about it and I was, I was excited for it. Um, hydroponics um, is growing plants with um, less soil than usual or no soil, but you can also use soil. And you, the water is like the main thing because all of the nutrients that the, all the nutrients and the minerals that the um, plants need to grow are sometimes in the water. Um, these are some of my things that I've made. Um, I couldn't make the deep water culture system because I had lost some of the materials. So I had just been growing plants like this a lot. <clears throat> and this is my coating that I made. I made it myself, but I can't share it because I didn't put it in here, but it was cool. Um, my favorite system that I did or project was the hydro, wait. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's the hydroponic system. It was the first thing we built and we cut up the soda bottle and flipped it over and put the soil in it and the wick and the water. That was really fun because it was simple and I could see myself doing it another time. And I have been doing that over again because my plant died from the first time, but it did live for a long time. Um, this was important to me because I can learn how to be more sustainable and stop throwing out like things that I could use to reuse some of the food that I already have. So I produce less waste in my house and it was really informative on what's going on in my community and I didn't really know that we were missing out on a lot of grocery stores. And I thought like these few were like normal for everyone, but a lot of people live no close to like a lot of grocery stores with fresh food and we don't. The positive impact for me was feeling like we were all like one in a family and it pushed me to start eating healthier because I had started before, but I hadn't kept with that. But now I'm eating a lot healthier. And with this knowledge, I can grow fruits for myself because my mom wasn't buying a lot of fruits, but now I can, I can have a lot of healthy foods. And it felt nice to be surrounded by things that are green. Not, my room doesn't get like a lot of direct sunlight so that was nice to have in my room. A challenge I overcome was feeling like I couldn't be able to focus on things that I wanted to focus on outside of school, but I still have trouble with that, but it was nice to have like some responsibility with these plants and try to do these things because it helps me realize what's important to me. Um, some extra things that I've learned was coding. And I really liked the coding program. And I felt like it was too short, but I would definitely do it again. I just have to focus some more. And I thank Mr. Marcello because he showed me that it's important to communicate with everyone and let everyone know how what's going on because 
here they do care about you and how you're doing and everything like that. And I really appreciate it. And my final word is that I'm thankful for everyone here who is really kind. There was no problem. Everyone explained things really nicely. And if you ever needed extra help, it was given to you. And it felt like everyone around me cared. And even though that my plants would always fail, it just 